Yesterday's heat index was 108 degrees. Today we're already building, even though it's morning, into the 90s. And this is the perfect time to head out to one of these inland lakes in Indiana for a day of rainbow trout fishing you will never forget. Real chilling is ready to go. We're going to give it a try. I hope you'll stay tuned. You're watching Outdoor Addiction with Captain Gary right here on ABC 57. Dutchman Hunting Supplies in Shipshawana is your home for quality firearms, ammo, fishing, archery, tree stands, clothing, optics, and everything outdoors. Get fantastic value when you shop great name brands like Bowtech, Hoyt, Matthews, Savage, Winchester, Browning, and many more. Visit Dutchman Hunting Supplies at 8435 West US 20 in Shipshawana. Call 260-768-3283. That's 260-768-3283. Hey, welcome to One Stop Furniture and Mattress. You've come to the right place. Here at One Stop Furniture, we offer everything from dining rooms, living rooms, bedrooms, including mattresses, and so much more. We really are your one-stop shop for all of your home needs. And your biggest benefit, besides excellent prices, we hold inventory of most items and we'll sell to you straight off the showroom floor. No waiting months for your order. Give us a call at 574-322-2012. Nobody creates winning baits like Legendary Baits by Aaron Hostetler and Chip Shawana. From laminate two-tone colors and variety boxes to bulk bait and even custom rods, experience the difference at Legendary Baits. Available at Cloverleaf Outdoor, White Pigeon, and Junior's Bait and Tackle in Topeka. Or call Aaron direct, 260-336-8089. Legendary Baits. Breakfast never tasted so authentic at Monterey Mexican Bar and Grill. In a hurry? Stop in for our breakfast burrito and coffee to go. Made with the freshest ingredients and paired with our special Monterey Blend coffee. Call to order and pick up on your way to work or school at Monterey Mexican Bar and Grill in Mishawaka. Do you have a fancy farm girl in your life? Then discover the Fancy Farm Girl Boutique on the upper level inside Yoder's Red Barn Shops in beautiful Shipshawana. The Fancy Farm Girl Boutique has a heart for our locals, and we love our tourists. Check out the trendy but modest women's styles. From the popular denim skirts, classy concealed carry handbags, Roma boots, and exclusive Kinsley Armel jewelry, to locally crafted wood signs, jewelry, and apparel. The Fancy Farm Girl Boutique, in style and down home. Okay guys, I want to show you how easy this is. So pick your inland lake in Michigan or Indiana that you know have trout with in it. Of course, I'm using my live scope. We found some fish. Here's all I'm doing. I take a bait holder hook, I fill it with corn. You got that? This is so easy. I love bringing kids out here to fish because it really is easy fishing and they fight good. Throw a sinker about 14 inches above the hook. There's your rig. And then we're just going to go to the bottom today, which is about 23 feet. Okay, we're about at the bottom. All I do is feel that sinker, obviously. It's not quite at the bottom. Get down there. Okay, there's the bottom. I'm going to come up. So right there's the sinker. Can you see that? Feel this, there's the sinker. Then I'm just gonna do like two twists off the bottom so that corn is right on the bottom. Then we're gonna just wait and see if we get a bite. And that's how easy trout fishing is on inland lakes. Find a drop off. The water today is almost 80 degrees. So this surface water is hot. These trout in the summertime in any of these lakes you wanna fish in Indiana or Michigan, that are stocked with trout, they will always school up this time of year. And when you find the school, when they're hit hungry, you are gonna catch some fish. It is hot and my daughter who's with me today, this is the daughter I always talk about, Ashley Brooke, my very pregnant daughter. She just got a nice one. We're gonna net it for you right now. 
I mean, this is a nice, nice rainbow. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Look at that fish, Brooke. That's a nice that fish. is a big, that is a nice, man, that is a, man, that's a monster. Look at that. I'm going to just bass him. Look at that. Woo. Oh, you, <laughs> here, hold him up for the camera. All right. All right. Let's get a close up of that fish. Oh. That is a nice fish. <laughs> Okay. All right, can't hold them. <laughs> it's hard to. Here, He's take slippery. your hook. Take your hook. All right, here we go. <laughs> Look at that dog. I mean, that is a that's a big trout. That is a rainbow trout. We got to get him back in the water. We're not keeping any to eat today. <sighs> it's a fact. A and B Lawn and Landscape in Millersburg is known for their property management and landscaping. They've been in business since 2000. They feature mushroom compost, perfect around trees and in your garden, boulders, landscape stone, river rock, 73 limestone, building pads, shredded topsoil, and more. No load is too big or too small at A and B Lawn and Landscape in Millersburg. Are you a part of a small or large group looking for transportation to an exciting event or intriguing location? Well, look no further than Crossroad Tours in Chipshawana. Wi-Fi, onboard electric, and movies. 24, 44, and even 56 passenger buses, they're all waiting for you. Perfect for colleges and universities as well. Crossroad Tours in Chipshawana. Check them out online at crossroadbus.com. Before boarding your pet, visit T&B White's Pet Motel and Grooming in Bristol. At T&B White's, they have 26 state-of-the-art kennels. All floors have radiant heat for your pet's comfort, central air in the summer, and a roof over the outside runs to protect against the elements. At T&B White's, you'll find cat boarding and two full-time groomers that will absolutely spoil your pet. Visit T&B White's Pet Motel and Grooming in Bristol. Go to gaspumpfreedom.com. That's gaspumpfreedom.com. Gaspumpfreedom.com. Hi, it's Captain Gary. You caught your fish of a lifetime, and now you're wondering what to do. Make sure you go see my friends at Ron's Taxidermy in Union, Michigan. Trust me when I tell you he is the best. With over 15 mounts to his credit that are hanging in my office and at my house, Ron is the only person I trust when it comes to a fish of a lifetime. Hey guys, it's Captain Gary and I am super excited to tell you about a contest we are so pleased to announce on this episode. From now until the first Saturday in August, I want all of our younger viewers, age 12 and below, to send me a picture of their biggest fish they've ever caught, along with about a paragraph telling their outdoor addiction story. The day they caught it, who they were with, the bait they were using, and then we are going to pick one lucky winner, and on the first Saturday in August at noon on our television show, we're going to announce the winner. Now here's what we have. By the way, this is my bass. This was the second largest silver bass ever caught in Michigan. Of course, my friends at Ron's Taxidermy mounted this for me. I got it back a couple months ago. I love this fish. And look what I have for one lucky kid out there. I teamed up with Ron at Ron's Taxidermy. We're going to give you a $400 gift certificate so that you can have your favorite fish mounted 
or even get a reproduction made of your biggest fish. Now, this $400 voucher will cover almost any size fish, and so we are happy to pass that along to you. So do me a favor. Send that picture along with a one paragraph outdoor addiction story to my email at Captain Gary's Show. That's Captain Gary's Show at gmail.com. And then that first Saturday in August, we're going to announce our winner, and it might just be you. So send those pictures in, and you have a chance at getting a fish much like this one mounted for you by the professionals at Ron's Taxidermy in Union, Michigan. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to read and see all the pictures in the emails. Write me today. Okay, I just missed one. So I'm going to go right back down and see if I can catch him. All right. When I'm quiet like that, it's because I'm counting my line down. It's just something I learned to do clear back in the 80s. Count my line down. I wanted to see if he would come right back. Maybe, maybe not. I don't even mind jigging a little bit for these once in a while. Just to kind of let them see that our bait's down there. He might be long gone. I don't feel him again. Okay, now for the second time, that fish cleaned me. I'm going to get him. The third time's a charm. I'm going to count down. All right, let's try it again, punk. There are a few things in this life as frustrating when you're fishing is when you get all set up, we got a spot lock on, and you miss a fish twice in a row. But these trout do that. They are kind of like those white bass over in Detroit. Once they know there's bait there, a lot of times they will not quit. Let's give this a try for a second, see if he'll come back. Come on, buddy, one more time. One more time, I'll even let you go today. Not even going to eat you if you bite. One more time. He's not there. I think he found a brand new buffet to go to. It got really windy for a minute and these fish start biting. Brooke and I both have one on. By the way, Brooke is Ashley. <laughs> Her mom, oh this is a nice fish. It ain't a monster. Oh, it's a monster. Let's look in the water. Look in the water. I mean, we got us a trout genuine. Right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, don't wrap up everything. Let's go over to Ashley now. Switch over to Ashley while I... Oh, that one got off. Let's see if Brooke can get hers. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I need a net, man. Net's coming. Net's coming. Ashley needs a net. We're going to get a net. I mean, these rainbows came to life all of a sudden. Ah, that's hot. Woo! Man. Bingo. Nice fish. Woo! Now that is awesome. I mean, them fish started biting all at once. It got a little bit windy. It is 98 degrees. The reason I yelled them in to go, because the top of this is so hot, you can't hardly really stand it. Oh, he just broke that cheap line. We don't have very heavy line on those. Let's do a good release on him, Brooke. Nice and easy. Okay. Huh. Make the old man run out of breath here, catching all these fish at once. I'm watching my other rod. I still have another rod in the water and the live scope is lit lighting up right now. Okay, let him go nice. Let him go nice. Let's do a good release on him. Get him back swimming. Oh, that was fun. All at once. Here they came. Anyways, we're going to keep fishing. You stay tuned. It's trout season in Indiana. It is hot. It is humid. The wind is up and the trout are biting. You're with Captain Gary.
Breakfast never tasted so authentic at Monterey Mexican Bar and Grill. Sample one of our sizzling breakfast skillets topped with two eggs cooked your way. And don't forget to pair that with our specially made Monterey Blend coffee. Freshly made to dine in or have catered at Monterey Mexican Bar and Grill in Mishawaka. Hey, it's Captain Gary here. Not only will you find me in a boat, you'll always find me in the fall in my deer stand. After I get my deer and it's time to have it processed, I always go to my friends, Dennis Miller at Willow Valley Trades in Shipshawana, Indiana. Trust me when I tell you the best venison sticks for a snack are always found at Willow Valley Trades. They are delicious and you be sure to tell Dennis Captain Gary sent you. Once again we are back with Matt Horsley, our biologist from right up here in northern Indiana. Mm -hmm. You actually live around here, you're part of us up here and thank you for all the work you do. I wanted to tell you a story. A few years ago my daughter at Oliver Lake actually caught a brown trout that mm -hmm. weighed eight pounds. Oh. Obviously we yeah. had that mounted. She yeah. thought that she hooked the anchor. We were oh, night geez. fishing for mm -hmm. rainbows. She caught this giant brown trout. Mm -hmm. It's mounted, it's at her house. And so I wanna thank you guys for the brown trout program. But I do understand that lately there's been, I don't know if we wanna say trouble with that, but maybe trouble getting some fish. And so you guys, from what I understand, are gonna start your own hatchery program. Yeah, uh, as of right now, our brown trout program is strictly uh, through the federal government. We receive oh, fish through mitigation from um, uh, the Brookville Tailwater uh, Project. So um, we get those fish from Kentucky and sometimes we get surplus that we can bring up here into northern Indiana and, and stock into either Oliver Lake or the Pigeon River and sure. sometimes we have enough to put into the Little Elkhart and even Solomon Creeks too oh, as well. Um, that we typically don't get them every year. It's very inconsistent and, and one of the demands that we're receiving from the anglers is they want to see more consistency with right. our brown trout program. So we actually uh, did a little bit of hunting and we found some brown trout over in Ohio. Oh, okay. and, and we received 1,100 fish last year and we put some in to the Pigeon River, but we actually held some back too at Curtis Creek that we're going to use as a brood stock nice. source. So we're going to start spawning our own fish and hopefully by 2024 get some of those uh, fish into Indiana waters. Well, that's impressive. Now, how big will those brown trout be when they're released, do you think? Uh, the, the target is at least seven inches. Very um, good. We're, we're expecting them to be anywhere between that seven to nine, hopefully up to 11 inches long. Sure. Um, brown trout are a little more difficult to, to feed and, okay. and to get on to feed, um, so they may not have the same uh, growth as the rainbow trout do in sure. Curtis Creek, but sure. we're, we're hoping to have them all legal size by the time well, they I'm get so into happy. It. When I first heard of this, I was so excited to have you guys part of that because we love, I love catching brown trout. Yeah. Other than steelhead, I don't know a fish that fights quite like a brown trout does, especially when we jig for them and catch them in really deep water yeah, absolutely. of some of our local lakes here. Yep. So I want to thank you for doing that. That sounds incredible. And so this will be up and running in the next couple of years and Absolutely. there'll be some flaws to work out, I'm sure. Yep, it's been a long time since we had our own uh, brown trout program. Sure. So um, there's gonna be a lot of kinks and, and you know we may not have fish, but we're hoping that we will. Um, we, we tested and experimented last year. Um, it didn't quite work out for us, but hopefully in the future, we're gonna see better success with the program and, and get great. more fish up here. Now that program's not gonna be huge. Okay. Um, we're still gonna rely mostly on rainbow trout, but sure. we're still gonna have up to close to 10,000 browns that we're gonna try wow. to put in every year. Uh, um, and some of our streams that are actually can support trout year round. Right. Um, those browns are a little more tolerant of warmer water. So sure. hopefully we can see some better hold over and some better growth Great. out of them once they get in. Well, so. thank you again for joining me today. I really yeah, appreciate absolutely. it. And all of you at home, get out there and enjoy some brown trout fishing and there's better days coming. Yep, and I want to thank you guys so much from the Indiana Department of Natural Resources for the work you're doing and supporting our fishing habits. Until next time, this is Captain Gary. Thank you for joining us on Outdoor Addiction.
At Tackle Shack in Middlebury, the knowledgeable staff, superior service, and high-end fishing baits, lures, and accessories are what they're known for. From Garmin's real-time live scan sonar to Mega Bass, Kitech brands, Shimano reels, and G Loomis rods. At Tackle Shack, they also install what they sell in their very own facility. Trust the pros at Tackle Shack when you stop by at 304 North Main in Middlebury. Visit them online as well. Tackle Shack. Fish on. If you need help hauling your classic vehicle anywhere in the United States, there's only one name to consider. That name? Gary Strait of StraightRoads.com. Gary Strait. He drives all over this great land of ours. I guess you could say he's an outdoor addict. Check him out, won't you? Enclosed vehicle transport at its finest. StraightRoads.com. That's StraightRoads.com. Hey guys, it's Captain Gary and I am super excited to tell you about a contest we are so pleased to announce on this episode. From now until the first Saturday in August, I want all of our younger viewers age 12 and below to send me a picture of their biggest fish they've ever caught along with about a paragraph telling their outdoor addiction story. The day they caught it, who they were with, the bait they were using, and then we are going to pick one lucky winner, and on the first Saturday in August at noon on our television show, we're going to announce the winner. Now, here's what we have. By the way, this is my bass. This was the second largest silver bass ever caught in Michigan. Of course, my friends at Ron's Taxidermy mounted this for me. I got it back a couple months ago. I love this fish. And look what I have for one lucky kid out there. I teamed up with Ron at Ron's Taxidermy. We're going to give you a $400 gift certificate so that you can have your favorite fish mounted or even get a reproduction made of your biggest fish. Now, this $400 voucher will cover almost any size fish, and so we are happy to pass that along to you. So do me a favor. Send that picture along with a one-paragraph outdoor addiction story to my email at Captain Gary's Show. That's Captain Gary Show at gmail.com. And then that first Saturday in August, we're going to announce our winner, and it might just be you. So send those pictures in, and you have a chance at getting a fish much like this one mounted for you by the professionals at Ron's Taxidermy in Union, Michigan. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to read and see all the pictures in the emails. Write me today. Okay, Brooke just missed another one. This is like four in a row for us. She's going right back down to see if she can catch it. I'm telling you, a lot of times these trout do this. Once they know there's bait down there, they will just hang out and you can refeed them. We'll just see what happens. I'm giving it just a little jig just to see if I can get one going over here. I keep checking our Garmin. There's some fish down there. Let's go, Ashley. Let's get one. Come on. Fishing is fishing and catching is catching. And oh, my daughter and I sure prefer catching over fishing, especially when it's this hot. We've already had to stop and swim like 150 times because this is not fat man friendly weather. Trust me when I tell you that. It is hot out here. I think I've lost 75 pounds since we started fishing a couple hours ago. Is he back, Brooke? No. He's not coming back right at the moment. We're going to keep trying. There are definitely some fish down there. We just got to get them to bite. All right, the wind is really starting to crank out here. Ashley just had a bite. Oh, hook set! You yeah. got him? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're going to need a net. Net man's coming. This one doesn't feel as big. I don't know where the net is. It's right one. here. Right here's the net. This one's a oh, this is a ding. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Folks, I'm sorry you have to see this on our show. I mean, this is 
Okay, he's out. The hook's in my finger. That was embarrassing. <laughs> um, only my lovely, very, very pregnant daughter brought my grandson fishing today, trout fishing for the first time. Um, sorry about that. Limit out, baby. <laughs> that is a limit out for her, but that is a dink. We do not count those on this show. So keep fishing and don't embarrass your father again, please. Whoa! Pro <laughs> Some people never grow up, even when your kids are adults. Ashley used to love doing this when she was a kid, swimming and catching trout. And here we go, you're seeing it for the first time ever recorded for a TV show. Uh-oh, since she's pregnant, she had to come to the ladder. Oh, what a shot! That fish is pumped. Ashley, I suppose you want no. Bring it. <laughs> I'll net it. I'll net it. Let me get the net for her. She is swimming with her rod. She just hooked a trout. She's coming up the edge of the boat. Where's the fish? Reel in. Reel in a little bit. Oh, wow. He's taking drag. Things are happening here, folks. These fish, these fish, if it's big enough, then we're going to say the boat's limited out. But if she caught another dink, look, she's trying to swim, catch the fish. Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, get it back up here. Oh, there we go. That's a better trout. We are actually going to call that a limit out for a real chilling today. Let me get this out of the net. Brooke, hold on to the ladder. Hold on to the ladder. I'm telling you, when my daughter right here, Ashley Brooke, when she was little, she would always put a life jacket on, dive into the lake with her fishing pole and trout fish and catch them. They're 30 feet deep right now. Perfect and hook job. Perfect hook job. Now I'm going to hand this boy off to you so you can get a good release on him. Because let me tell you something. You hooked him right in the spot. There you go. Okay, here you go. Here's your fish. Do the handoff. Now get him released good. Oh, wow, he's gone. Get him released good. Oh, I don't know how she does that. Swimming, catching trout, 30 feet of water. It's 81 degree water now. It's still hot out here. But I want to tell you, that is a limit out. That is 15 trout for real chilling. We have had a fun day out here. So, if you got a boat, get in your boat. If you don't have a boat, it's fine. Call somebody that does. Buy a couple cans of whole kernel corn, a number six hook, a small sinker. Find your lakes around you that are stocked with trout, just like we are. It goes from two feet down to 30. Get on a drop off. You will have the time of your life and you might as well learn from my daughter. Try some new variations, even if it means swimming while you're pregnant and hooking trout anyhow it's been a great day i hope you're having a great day too this is captain gary with outdoor addiction and remember what i always tell you huh, today proves it you never know where your outdoor addiction might lead you we'll see you next time right here on abc 57 so long